Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, as you'll know from the from the thumbnail, we are going to attempt to do February in Kelly O'Gorman's beautiful calendar. Now I must confess, I haven't done January yet, but I figure if we're going to do together the calendar, it'd be better to be a month ahead so that if you're following along you can do it at your leisure. And I will do him probably in my own time. But when I did a flip through of this gorgeous calendar, I said that we were going to try and do it in ink tents. So I'm terrified of ruining this gorgeous copy and also I might like to colour it another date. So I have actually photocopied February, which is Venus, onto some beautiful bright white cardstock to, so that I can do Kelly's calendar justice. I'll put a link down below to this cardstock. Um, I can't remember what the details are of it, but it's it's fairly decent stuff. But it, the ink tents really likes it, so I will. Let's well, smudge that. Let's get rid of that before we start colouring and annoying people. <laughs> I, will, I will put a link down below. So I've been practicing. Just dry that little patch off. I've been practicing with colours. And I've had a look on the internet for, obviously, these are Venus Flytrap. So I've got the colours that I want for those. And these tuberlite plants, I managed to find similar ones for colourings on um, the internet. Like I say, Googled it. And um, <clears throat> I'm wanting, I'm thinking that I want in the background, I wanted it really dark greens. I don't know if I'll be able to manage that. But... Um, the rest of it, purples, reds and oranges, just really bright, beautiful, like tropical jungly type image. So I'm going to cover up the background because it's hideous. I've been practicing, well I'll show you. I've been practicing and it's hideous so I'm going to have to work something else out. But these tubers, I'm really happy with how that's turned out. So I think we might start with those. And I'm really, really hoping and praying I can do this all in mostly in ink tents without having to go back over with pencil. So I've got an array of pencils here and if I bring you in so we can focus on our lovely like tuber plant let me just lift the camera up hang on otherwise my page is going to hang off the desk. There we go. Um, so I've got an array of these pencils ready to go. Um, so I've got Chili Red, Cherry, Scarlet Pink, Tangerine and Amber. And you're probably going to think, oh my god, what a horrendous mix. But it works well. It works well, folks. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to start with my darkest, which is the Cherry Red. Oh, sorry, Chili Red. 0500 and I'm going to do this in like strokes so where Kelly has given us this really dark patches underneath the lip of the plant I'm going to put I've got a bit of glitter stuck on my finger no oh. <laughs> I'm going to put this um chili red let's move them up there so I am just literally doing little lines down with it I'm not pressing hard, but I want that to be quite an impact, that dark chilli red. So I'm just filling it in with lines. And it's going to look patchy, but as soon as you put the water on it, that will disappear. She says. She hopes. So I'm just like streaking that down and making sure I've got enough of that dark colour in there. Okay, so that's chilli red. Next we're going to go in with cherry. Um, I can't read the number. 0510. And we are going to bring that down and I'm doing it the same with lines and I'm filling up the gaps with just light lines. Uh, 
and it just seems to be it well it seemed on that one I hope it turns out all right on this one or I'll be starting the filming again you know what I'm like it's got to be right or I've got to start again which is an exhausting way to be people but there you go okay chili red then we're going to bring in this is beautiful this color come on scarlet pink there we go 0320 and we're going to do the same with that we're going to fill in any lines and bring that down now you've got to kind of judge it because we've got another two colors to come in here I'm overlapping slightly with each colour from the last colour but just making sure I get enough of that and then we're going to bring in the beautiful Tangerine 0300 so when I've talked you through this we'll do the other tubers together and maybe we'll have a bit of a catch up there's um, lots to talk about well, we need a catch up. <laughs> okay, so that's our beautiful tangerine. And then in the bottom, oops, at the bottom of our tuber, we are going to put amber. Now, this is a sort of greenish brown, so I'm going to push that up into that tangerine. And you do want enough of it because it's not a bright colour, so not compared to what we've put down. So I want that to really show up. I've got to worry about this strip in a bit. So I'm just coming down to the, the base and I'm going to worry about that in a little while. I haven't even planned that bit yet. So a bit like when I've done hair tutorials, I'm just flicking that colour in on each other. I don't know why, but it just works. You don't have to do it this way, obviously, if you don't want to. Okay, now for the scary bit, folks. <clears throat> Let's have a drink before the danger zone starts. I don't know why I say that, because like I said, I've practised it, and I love the, how it's turned out, but I've got my gorgeous dirt when brushes that I was so kindly gifted, and I'm so grateful, because they're amazing brushes. I'm just going to check that it's got the water flowing and it is and I'm going to start from the bottom now you don't have to worry too much about streaks on this because we're going to go up in in lines and it just seems to work I don't know so I'm going to start with the amber at the bottom and I'm going to pull all these colors gently in together and I'm just going to take my time and enjoy it We're going to come up into that gorgeous, gorgeous dark red now. And I can just play about with that a little bit, pull it down, make sure it's all activated. And if there are any streaks, I found that, don't mess about with it so that you don't peel the paper, but I found that if you let, let it dry, and then go over it again with a wet brush, some of those streaks will disappear because it's just where they've not activated, if that makes sense. And I would rather have <clears throat> to go back over and reactivate parts than oversaturate the page. Isn't that a beautiful blend? Doesn't that work well? And that will lead us into some kind of greenery for the vine that this tuba plant is on. You don't have to be as cautious as me, you can speed yourself up if you're more you feel more competent with ink tents, but I'm going to activate all this amber now around this side. Just going to 
what I did was just dipped my um, brush in a little tiny pot of water that I've got here. You don't have to, but um, I don't want to drag too much of the dark red in. Put some of that around the edge there. There. One tuber. And I think, let me just move it. Oh, look, my hands don't work again. This paper is awesome and it was really cheap. It loves the ink tents. So there are a few streaks, if I hold it up there, you can see. But I think that's mostly from not activating. So we will try that. We will try activating again in a bit. So, I am dry. We're going to start again on this tuber. Let's get it right so that you're in the camera. There we go. So I'm going back in with Chili Red. And I'm going to put those dark streaks in. I'm just going to, I'm redoing it exactly as we did it a minute ago. We might need to darken up that one a bit. But nothing that we can't lay our base down as we've just done. And then go back over when it's dry to deepen up areas. Which is why I'm beginning to really love working with ink tents. And I really would like to, if I could, do this whole calendar with ink tents. I really don't know about the background yet, folks. I wanted it in a really dark, intense green. So this is cherry. Just so all these beautiful, bright, tropical colours really pop. That's cherry. Have sure we got enough of that? Then we want... What have we got now? Scarlet pink. We've got a bigger space here to fill up. So like I said again, I'm just going slightly back over the last colour we put down and I'm dragging this one out. I'm just flicking it. There we go. And now we're going to bring in that beautiful tangerine and this is what makes, really lifts that colour, I think. So I'm going back over, I don't want to swamp that tangerine, uh, that scarlet pink. I'm going back over. Try and bring it around there. And then we're going to go in with amber. I'm going to twist the page for this. And I'm going to bring it round this time. And I'm going to try and go with the lines of the drawing. That way then, if there's any... Um, lines left showing when we activate it it um, looks like part of the plant clever huh <laughs> not really <laughs> so i hope you're all okay i have been working on the mica um, paints or well, the mica powders that kevin sent and my experiment didn't work um, I followed a tutorial from somebody else and it just didn't work. So I've now bought some other bits and pieces that we can use with them to fix the page when you're <clears throat> when you're working with them. So maybe we could do that on here. Right, I'm taking my old frayed brush because this is a lot bigger tuber and I don't want to mess up my beautiful new fine one. Um, okay. Let's go for it, folks. Let's do this. So I'm going in with the amber. And I'm going to push that into the tangerine. Up into the scarlet pink. And then I can't remember the other colours we used. There we go. Just beautiful. I'm loving these. I'm loving, loving, loving the ink tents. 
I would love to get my hands on those Inktense blocks. But, alas, um, I will have to wait. Um, things have been quite difficult in terms of health. And uh, that's not the brush. I just dipped that into some water. That's my own fault. That large amount of water you just saw. There is no need to do that. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, mop that up. There is no need to do that, and that's what happens if you do. I'm going to go out of the lines. But that's going to be dark there anyway, so don't fret and fuss. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, health-wise, that's what I was saying, wasn't it? It's been quite difficult. Um, I don't know what's going on, really. I'm going to have to go back to the doctors. Um, my legs are extremely weak. I know I have fibromyalgia, but... You're going to laugh at this, because I did when I'm telling people. So it's okay. It's okay to laugh. Um, when I get out of bed, like even if it's just to go to the toilet in the night, get out of bed, my I get up and stand, and then my, my legs just don't work. They're like, just, I don't know, they get like really weak. And because I'm you're ready to walk, I sort of lurched forward and, nearly, and head-butted the wall. <laughs> Which is funny. It is funny, folks. Um, and then, obviously, coupled with the my hands being weak, I'm not sure what's going on. I'm exhausted to the point that yesterday I slept Saturday away. I didn't even... I wasn't even aware Saturday had happened. Um, and the doctor had hoped that the vitamin D would almost be instant relief for me, but unfortunately... Okay, so this tube is going to be slightly different because we've got a lot of darker areas. Um, and I'm not sure how to... So what I want to do, what we're going to do is go in like we've done the other two with the chilli red. We're going to put that chilli red in. And we're going to do it the same as we did the others. And then when it's dry, we'll come back in and darken some areas up. So yeah, that's why I'm saying last to my... Um, Uh, paints. I do have a few because it's looking more and more likely that um, I'm not coping with work and everything else so it's looking more and more likely that I might have to either stop or go into doing it very very part time which is a shame because I do enjoy my job and I love the children that I work with but you can only do what you can do, can't you? Um, and when it gets to the point that you can't even, you know, you didn't even know Saturday existed, or days where I'm just sleeping, that's no quality of life, and that's not, you know, it's not right, is it? So I'm doing exactly the same as we did with the other tubers. Um... And then we'll worry about it when it's dry. If there's any places that need deepening up or... This is that beautiful tangerine. And I'm sure there will be places even that need deepening up quite a bit. But we're going to go with the flow for a minute and do them exactly the same as we've done the others. And then we'll deal with it. So, yeah, so I have got some other things lined up for the um, micas. See, I flip from one thing to the next. I'm talking to you about health and one thing, and then, oh, I don't know. That's all part of it, is problems with memory. But you guys tell me you're quite happy to sit and listen to me ramble on, which is lovely. Yeah, so that's what I was saying. Um, so it's looking more and more likely that I would either have to stop work or um, go really part-time to cope with it all. 
Um, so any craft supplies will have to just come from um, YouTube monies that I earn. But, I mean, folks, that's not a bad thing. I mean, blimey, you should see my office. I've been so blessed with beautiful gifts from people. Um, and colouring books, well, I want everything I see. I just, you know, when you're poorly and you can't do much, it becomes your passion. But I've got enough colouring books that um, I would, that will, I will never be able to colour in a lifetime. So I'm going to go back over that because that looks to me like it's very streaky because of non-activation. <laughs> and it is, look. Let's just... Hey. I don't know. It's very depressing when you, you know, you're desperate to, to do all sorts of things you want to do in life and you can't because of ill health. And I'm sure there's a lot of you out there listening to me and thinking, oh, I know exactly what you're feeling, Lucy. Okay, now there are patches and drops on these tubers, but we will address those later. Um, I'm just looking. So round this bit is that orangey red so we are going to take the two darkest colour or the two these two colours anyway cherry and um salmon pink we're going to come in there okay right let's do the center actually first so i'm going to take this bit in here is green so i'm going to take iron green which is very dark and beach green so I'm gonna do exactly the same as I've been doing in the tuber I'm gonna put the iron green around the bottom and draw it up and then on top of that I'm going to put the beach green And go over that and bring that up. Be careful of that lip there, because that will be orangey. Okay. I need a bit more there. There we go. Let's take my beautiful new fine brush for this. Here we are. Let's come in a bit. Sorry. I thought you were a bit closer than that. <laughs> um, okay. We're going to start at the top where the beach green is. And we're going to pull that into that dark iron green. I'm just going to keep cleaning my brush off to ensure that I keep that nice um, beach green colour. Because the iron green is so dark that it will overwhelm it. There. Okay, so we're going to have to let that dry. And round the inside of those where it's dark. Oh, sorry, you can't even see. Lucy, get a grip. Right, so inside here where it's dark will be those greens. And on the outside it will be these two colours which are cherry and scarlet pink and we're just going to do exactly the same so I'm going to follow Kelly's lines and I'm taking the cherry and I'm going to I'm actually going to bring out all those bits all the bits that are darkest In there. And 
might come up there then. Mm, that would make sense. Yeah, if we come up here, can you see? Yeah. I'm winging it, folks. Are you proud of me? Something Lucy never does. Okay. Now, I'm not going to add the um, scarlet pink for a second. What I'm going to do is take my very fine brush and I'm going to activate that. No, that's the old one. I'm going to activate that as it is so that we keep that pattern. So we keep that darker colour. And then when we come in with our lighter colour, that will stay there. As long as you've activated it, it won't it won't um, move again once you've activated it. <coughs> Let me just move that. So all I've done is picked out Kelly's darker lines and shoved a bit of that. <laughs> what colour do we use? Cherry in there. And if we need it darker, we can always go back later. So, that is what I'm going to do. Let's come out. So, I am going to go off camera. And I'm going to put that dark green in the centre of those. And the um, cherry in the, in the darker spaces. And then we'll come back and hopefully I'll have a plan because I would really like to get the background done before we go any further because if I fluff it up then I don't know I'll have to think of something else all right I'll see you in a second folks okay so the tubers are complete I have actually it's the next day and I have actually just done this one so I'm going to wait for that to to dry off completely um, we need to think about her skin and we need to think about these gorgeous, um, which you can't see, uh, Venus flytraps down here. So, skin. Now, I've never done this with ink tents, so we're going to do this together. I've got my Caran d'Ache palette board, but any rough surface that you've got that's not porous, so it won't soak it in, will work. So, I am going to take two colours. I've got Baked Earth. And Sicilian yellow and we're going to scribble that on the board so that's baked earth and then right over the top of that I'm going in with the Sicilian yellow and I'm doing quite a lot you're gonna be thinking gracious Lucy that's you know that's gonna last you a lifetime but because it's the skin, I want to try and hopefully get enough to cover her body and face. So, I am just then going to try and put it in shot for you. Let's move it all over. So I'm going to take my frayed brush, my old one. I'm going to make sure I've got water in there. Let's get that going. And I want um, quite a bit of water on there because I don't want it this bright, obviously. So I'm just going to take a test piece of paper, this is where I've been practicing all my little bits and bobs on, and I'm just going to, yeah, I think that'll do. So it'll dry like a nice peachy colour actually, it looks horrendous there, doesn't it? But, um, and if you're concerned, what you could do is go around the shadowed areas first, because if that's dark you're going to go over it with something else anyway, be it um, ink tents or pencil. Um, so any of the darker areas if you you know if you're if you're unsure of the color you've mixed is what I'm trying to say if I can get my words out is um, yeah going around the dark areas um, and that will be covered but I think when that dries that actually creates a really lovely kind of peachy tone um, and we can I'm not sure yet whether we'll do pencil or more ink tents over the top. I did want to, as much as I could, keep the picture ink tents, but 
I am not going to do that at the risk of ruining the the picture. You know, if I don't feel confident enough, we'll use another medium if I, if I feel it's necessary. If that makes any sense, people. I know I do a lot of rambling. But I want to try and make this. Um, this channel has been lacking in ink tents for a long time. And I want to try and make this um, as simple as possible. So that any of you that are scared of ink tents feel that you could possibly colour along and trust in the process. She is a little bit, I don't know, it's not fully dry yet, but she's a little bit beigey, but that's okay. Like I say, we can, we can go back over her and she'll dry, hopefully dry, um, smoother and lighter but we'll see I'm not concerned I think when we get all the really bright colors around her and a dark background that I want um, she won't look like she stands out as being orange So another full-on day at work today. They're always full-on, my work days with the children. Um, but I'm home and I came, poured myself a glass of Diet Coke like you do and came straight upstairs to play with you guys. <laughs> So I'm not sure what to do these little faces, I haven't decided yet. So what I'm going to do, I've got that much left on the palette. So I'm going to leave that there and hopefully it won't dry out. Um, in case we want to go back over the skin if the skin's a little bit blotchy or we want to use it for these little faces. I'm trying to move the page. Right, let's have a look at these little guys. Now, when I looked them up, there's two lots of that I can see sort of two lots of different colours but I want ours to be um, orange, yellow and then into the green and on the inside will be the red. So I've got these colours um, from, um, I need to see my practice piece, yeah from darkest to lightest. So on this part we're going to do orange and then into yellow and then this top part we're going to do dark green into light green so we've got felt green, apple green, green even, cadmium yellow and tangerine. Look at those beautiful colours, isn't that lovely? <laughs> so with the same flick that we did before, you can see Kelly's lines, they're just they are just little straight lines, that's what we're going to do. So if I bring you in just a tiny bit closer because I don't want to lose you while I'm colouring. So I'm taking the tangerine and we're going to put those lines in. We will do some detail, the little dots and things whatnot, over the top. Now I don't want to come too far up with this but I want some little further out lines and then we're going to switch to our cadmium yellow and we're going to blend that in and I'm just putting line uh, stroke lines in or line strokes Oh my god, it's been a long day people, it always has when I speak to you, I'm always so jumbled. Okay, so we've got our, a nice bit of cadmium yellow in there, just want a bit more I think. Let's make sure I've got enough. And then we're going to go in with our dark green, which is the felt green. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is come in the tips just the tips of these spikes, like the teeth on the plant. 
that's all I'm doing, just the little spikes on them. Okay, let's fill all those in. Now we might be able to change up the colours on them. I'm not sure whether I want to <coughs> or whether I want to keep it simple because it is going to be a very bright page. So, and then I'm going to take our final colour, which is the apple green, and I'm going to come down from that dark green and into that yellow. And this green and yellow will blend really well. You just have to be careful how you blend it. So I will show you that in a sec, how I did it. And just pray to God that it works. I've missed a little, little spike there. I'm just trying to have more self-confidence on camera because I think the more self-confidence I have, the more belief you guys will have at being able to do it yourself. And you really can. Alright, so I'm going to take my beautiful new brush, the very fine one, and make sure you've got some kitchen towel to hand because this is how I did it. So what I'm going to do is do the bottom from the I'm going to come in even further. We're going to do from the orange up into the yellow. Make sure my water's flowing. Okay. And then we're going to stop. Because I want to keep those streaks. So if you feel at any point that the orange is obliterating the green and the yellow, stop. Actually, I should have done that the other way around, but never mind. So what we need to do is the yellow into the orange. And because, the reason I'm doing it this way is I want to keep those lines. And I want it to, I don't want it to be obliterated. I want those lines to show. Okay. Right. Now from there, we're then going to go from the light green, did I do that? Light green, yeah. And we're going to push up there, up into that dark green. So that light green and the um, dark green blend. Can you see? I hope my hand's not in the way. But we're keeping those sort of linear marks, which just gives it that texture. And I really like that. <clears throat> it also helps if you're not feeling that confident with your ink tents. So now I can come in, just make sure it's all activated. And there we are. There's the front portion of that Venus flytrap. Isn't that cool? So, come back out again, we'll go in and out, in and out, folks, but I want you to be able to see, you know, it looks very rainbow-like on here, but it's not. When that's dry, I'm probably going to put a little bit more of the um, cadmium yellow in there, because that, that, on camera at the moment it doesn't, but it looks like I've lost some of that cadmium yellow, so when that's dry, I'll go back over it. But that, I think... On the inside it's going to be like a pinky colour, but obviously I've got to wait for that to dry. So should we do another one together? Shall we do... Let's do this big one with a little face on it. So, okay, that's a nice good one to do. Alright, so I'm going to follow Kelly's lines. So you can see that she's got, like here, the darkest line is there. And here, all I'm doing is just bringing them out a little further with the uh, tangerine. Now you can play about with the combination or even add a different combination if you want. So there's more yellow or more green, just to add a bit of interest to your page. Or even change the colours up. It's your book. Okay, in with the um, cadmium yellow 
and I'm going to make sure I put enough of this in. It's a bit easier on this one because it's a bigger, bigger plant. I really want that yellow to show up. There. And then we're going to go in with the apple green. And let's go, let's do it this way. And we'll fill in the dark bit in a minute. So I'm putting a little less of the apple green on because the yellow will blend with that green as you saw there. And I don't want it obliterated, but still keep that green. Okay, so our little linear strokes. And then the top part is our felt green and we're just going to fill in those little spikes. They're the little bits that like cross over like that to trap the fly inside. I don't know what they'd be called. And then what I might do for all these little dots is either take a Posca or just a water-based marker afterwards when we're ready. Okay, let us <coughs> activate this. So I'm actually going to go, get it right this time, and go from the yellow into the orange. I'm going to put a little bit of water on my tissue so that when I um, wash my brush off, wipe my brush off, it's not on a completely dry piece of tissue. Where is it there? Just because it dries out my brush too much. So where did we start? Here. Look at that beautiful colour. As soon as that water hits it. Isn't that lovely? They're magical, magical things, aren't they, these pencils? And just take your time, because we want the strokes in it, it doesn't matter if you leave that straight edge. It will just add to the, the texture of the plant. This is my vision anyway, folks, my vision. So now I'm going to ignore the top spiky bits and I'm going to bring that green into the yellow. I don't have to push it all the way down. Have some bits shorter another, some bits longer, and then we'll come back and just activate those little spikes at the top, just so that we don't lose that yellow entirely. And then this way, they'll actually, they'll actually look all quite unique and um, different, because you can have different quantities of different colours, so some of them we can have more green, some of them we can have more yellow, and they won't look like uniform. So I'm just activating the little spikes. Cautious around a dress because I don't know what colour I'm going to do that yet. I know I want purples because I want a really bright, beautiful, tropical page. So I'm guessing the only other thing would be blue. There. Okay. Oh. okay, let's come out and have a look at that, see what we think. Right, so we've got our very funky looking um, Venus fly traps. Don't forget the inside of those will be pink, but I can't do that until it's dry. Her skin's looking quite good, and I am just going to take my other brush and just in a bit more water, remember on that bit that we left behind? A bit more water on it. Mixing it round and then I'm just going to, from the edge, and keep going, I'm just going to drag an, any colour over where she's streaky. So, it's where I wasn't confident earlier, but really honestly, um, the more you faff, the worse it's going to look, you might as well just go for it because you're going to get all patchy, blotchy stuff. Okay. 
Um, I'm actually quite pleased with that tone that I've mixed. And don't forget that if you're not happy with it, a white prisma will go over the top, or the white ink tents will go over the top, and we could change, tone it down, or change the colour. But I am actually quite happy. I'm quite pleased with the colour that that's so just those two simple colours mixed together has given us. Gosh, I'm doing a lot of talking today. <laughs> right, there we are. Oh, right. I might as well use that last tiny little bit and we'll just redo her face with some confidence. There we go. And hopefully, like I say, if there are any streaks, we can use pencil or something to go over the top. Right, I think that that's activated properly. Just check in. So it seems a little bit too linear. It could well be that, and I think I had left some not activated on that one. There we are. Right. So we can change that up so that that whole thing was the greens if you wanted and and no orange but that's how they looked in the picture quite, not probably not quite as bright as this but so all my all of these that are left one two three four five that are left are all going to be done in this way i'm just gonna just gonna change up like i say tiny bit of orange at the bottom more green more orange and yellow less green you know just just mess with it and it will probably happen naturally anyway like this one now looks very different to that one so it will probably happen naturally because it's hard to recreate exactly the look you had before so if you're going to do if we're going to go off and do these leave the inside bits you know where the mouth is open leave the inside bits alone don't put any color in those because that's going to be a different color and that's what will really lift well not that it leads lifting it's very colorful as it is all right my lovely friends I'm going to go and do those, otherwise we're going to be here for a million years and then we will meet back and we will, I don't know, I'll have a plan. <laughs> I'll speak to you in a bit, folks. Okay, so I'm back and I've finished off these little guys down here, all our little... We've yet to do the inside, but I want to focus on her skin. And then I think we'll call it a night for tonight. We'll have to do two parts because... It's just going to take forever. Um, okay, and the other parts might be a little bit easier to go on and off camera so it doesn't take so long. So her skin. So I've got my little board again. And if I bring you in, so you can, I can hide my messy desk from you, covered in the deliciousness of pencils. So I've got two colours here. I have got... crimson and Sicilian yellow again. So on my board or whatever surface you're using I'm going to put crimson down I'm not doing it too heavily and then I'm putting the Sicilian yellow over the top like we did with the skin So and then we're fingers crossed that this works okay so I'm going to take my frayed brush just to mix it up with my old one and I'm pumping it up and getting some water in there dropping it in and giving it a good mix round getting all those little particles in okay all right let's take our tester sheet and see so I want it more peachy oops more peachy than we've got for the background so I think I might need a little bit more of the pink in there so I'm going to scribble next to it and then I'm going to pick up the pink and put it in and we'll see what happens I don't want it too overpowering but let's try that because obviously it will dry lighter can you see yeah there so I'm happy with that so 
what I'm going to do is, can you see all the dark lines around her tummy here? I'm going to take this peachy pink colour that we've mixed and I'm going to drop that in. And I'm going to have to do it like I mean it. And then I'm just going to kind of dot it to stop that edge being a harsh line. And it should be okay. We're going to do round her little flower bra. You know you get that harsh line if you don't blend it in with the ink tents. But I am going to go over with pencil, I think. Just for her skin. Just because I'm fussy like that. You don't have to. But I think I will just smooth her over. Okay. And there's no panic. If we feel the need, like we said before, we can darken this up. But I think if I am going to use pencil, it will be fine. Her belly button. And then just don't forget to like take your brush and just sort of dot it to fade out that. You don't want any harsh lines in there. So spread it out where you want it. And then just kind of push that edging out. Just a little bit. Right there, I've got quite a harsh line there. But I can always go back in with a little bit more on my brush and just dot that edge out. You know, like how it naturally fades out on your brush. So that's what I'm hoping for. Get that darker colour in here. And then just hopefully let it go back over some of the dark parts if your brush has got too much on. And just kind of almost stippling it out, really. There. Okay, pleased with that. So then we're going to do round her little bra top, round her ear. Going to put a bit more of that pink in. Round her ear. And a little bra top. And then just kind of... Stipple it away. I'm going to mix up some more. So I'm going to use this bit that we used here and then and I don't get carried away here because this would be something I would do. I get carried away, mix it up because you think, oh yeah, I know that the colours work but um, like there, look, if you put that on that's going to be really bright. So I'm just adding more water, pick up that and just merge it into that original colour. So we've got a nice hot mess on our board um, and then I'm just going to go back in and dot in some deeper there and then up around her face I'll give her a bit of a cheek up here obviously in her ear roll let's not forget her ear roll we'll put a couple of drops in her lips Oh no, no, no. Well, that background's going to be dark, so it doesn't matter too much. Ooh, have I got rid of it? No, I've just made a smudgy mess. But it's okay, because the background's going to be dark, so I'm not going to panic. No damage done. Okay. And then, I know her face looks a bit of a mess, but let's let, let it dry for a minute. And I'm just going to bring that in all the spaces that Kelly has indicated are dark from her beautiful little flower bra top and then stippling it out and this one up there on her shoulder and I know like I say, I know it's looking a bit of a... You're going to be thinking, oh, God, Lucy, what have you done to her? But it will work out. It will. And I know because I've practised. <laughs> oh, you couldn't see any of that. God, I'm so sorry, look. So I've gone round the edge of her face and just given her a bit of a cheek. 
<coughs> and then around the brush, just basically where Kelly has indicated dark spots, the shadows. And I've put, dropped that in, that colour we mixed. See folks getting carried away? With all, look at me, I can do ink tents. <laughs> you can't even see it. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm just joking. Her wrist. We need a little bit in her under there in her fingers and just light touches folks just light touches. That fingers behind so we make that a bit darker and can you see it's already kind of um, it's already kind of blending in as it dries. <coughs> can you see everything? No. Let's move you up. So I'm just going to do this little bit down here might need to be a bit darker and obviously because I'm using a water brush this on my palette if you keep going in with your water brush is going to get more and more dilute so just bear that in mind as you go along if you're thinking well this isn't you know it's got lighter as I'm painting so you might just need to mix some more but I've got quite a bit on my brush, so I'm going to go up here. Just let that bleed, blend out, bleed out. And this should give her a little bit more of a pinky hue. Hue, even. A little bit down here. And then... Um, I think the video was going to be over an hour at least, so because I do it in parts, I go off and do bits as you know, and then um, I, I get carried away and forget that we've sat here for like that last marathon one that I did, which I really enjoy doing, but I get carried away because I'm enjoying it and forget that you guys have got to sit here for like three hours watching me colour. Okay, so her skin I'm going to have to wait now until she dries to see what she's actually like. So I'm going to go off, give me for you two seconds, and then I'll be back and we'll see what, oh that's better, we'll see what else we need to do to her. Give me a second. Okay, she's dry enough for us to be able, to, for me to be able to touch her up and I'm literally touching her up. So I've got a Prismacolor here which is Nectar, if my camera will let me play, PC1092 and this m matches really well with that mix of colours that we just did and I'm literally just going to deepen up some areas because you can do this all with ink tents but um, as you know I am a shaky person, <laughs> my hands shake and um, this is very intricate little details so I'm just literally very lightly, this paper is amazing I'm going to be um, linking it down below for you because it loves these ink tents and um, from the way it's responding, I know it's had water on it so that changes things, but the way it's responding to the prismas I would say it's a really good, in my opinion, so don't shout at me if you go and buy it and you don't like it, um, I would say it's a really good cardstock to to print your pictures on. So I'm really likely just going around with that henna and then just deepening up those darker areas. We've got to have some contrast. Like I say, you can do this with that mix that we just made, but I am too shaky to do all those little tiny details. Okay, so then I am going to take peach. This is peach, trust me. It's just that mine are really stubby. Um, okay, so 939, okay, let's refocus, and then really lightly I'm just going to blend into that beautiful skin tone that we mixed, like 
and I don't want to overdo it because I was looking back at my um, last video I did with ink tents and I was just thinking to myself why did you do so much pencil work you know there there really is no need to go over the top other than to just smooth things out but there you go I enjoy it so what does it matter so I want you to tell me what do you think I wanted to do the background like really dark green so that all these vibrant colours really pop out um, what do you think what colour do you think these tubers down here should be what colour do you think these should be I want your opinions folks I may just go off at a tangent and do my own thing but it would be really nice to know what you think um, so bring that round Oh, again. Yeah, it'd be really lovely to have your opinion on what you think, what colours would work. And I'm going to go back in with that um, henna. <clears throat> and just deepen that line there. On the inside of the ear. Can you see everything? Yeah. So as you can see, barely anything really going down. This paper's really good. And back in with peach. I'm just going to blend that through. I'm not going to leave it like that, so don't panic. You know what you'll be thinking? Oh my God, Lucy, what have you done? Just go with the flow with me, peeps. Okay, right, now I'm going to take, this is light peach, yeah, light peach, which is, come on camera, I can't even read that, what is it, I don't know what it is, 927, yeah, there you go, 927, light peach, okay, I'm going to go over all of that, the whole thing, blend that, And let that come into that original colour. So I'm using this light peach as our blender. Okay. Then we're going to do the same around our arm. Almost like as if you'd done, well, it's no, no different, is it, as an underpainting, if you'd done with alcohol markers, really. But I wanted to do as much with ink tents as I possibly could. Yeah, so the background is what I really wanted it really deep dark. Now, we could probably do that with like a really dark navy blue. But I don't know, I just got like jungly tropical vibes because of the plants. So can you see the difference now between there? And you can always be very really careful with this, but you can always like if we want highlight, like if I come in a little bit so you can see her face a bit more, I would like a little bit more highlight round her forehead. So the white works magnificently over ink tents maybe a little bit more just knock back that colour on her cheek a little bit like there and then we can go back in with light peach and just smush people and smush that all together there we go okay let's have a look at this belly so back in with the henna again. Oh, sorry, no, it's not. It's nectar. Henna was too red, I felt, for the colours we'd mixed. And again, I'm going to follow Kelly's advice. And, oops, excuse my phone. And I'm just following those dark lines. 
I'm going to blend that out a little bit. There we go. We can get right down there into that little skirt she's got on, or she's part of the plants. Really deepen up that nectar in those darker spots around her little bra. And then let it really fade out. Okay, and we're going to take peach and I'm going to go over that and bring that down. So I hope you can see, like, I am not um, I'm not really doing too much other than just smoothing it over. <clears throat> then we're going to go in with light peach. I'm going to close that highlight up a little bit, smush all those colours in, get my hand out your way. There we go. Now, if you want to add a few more highlights, like I'm on a little bit there. Just lighten that up. Not too much. This is white, by the way. <laughs> Nine three eight. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. And then I'm just going to smush with the light peach again. So I'm going to go back to her face a little bit. Light peach. Might put a little bit of henna in the top of her eyelid, maybe. There we go, a bit more on those lips. Okay. And then, so you can see now the difference, which is why I wanted to do it for the few seconds that it actually takes to um, get this looking really, really good. Well, a few minutes, should I say, not seconds. Um, to get this look really blended, it's worth. It's just worth those few minutes for me, I think. Okay. Henna around her shoulder, and in those dark spots, make sure you let it um, fade out. There we go. And see, these are really fiddly. These little bits for me, with a paintbrush. Even though I've got these gorgeous Derwent, really fine brushes. They've been a game changer, people, those brushes for me, because I could never master ink tents, and it didn't matter how I practiced. And do you know what it was? It was the fact that I had a cheap water brush, and it just gave out way too much water. So like Lizzie Mary Cullen's book, um, Magical City, Magical Christmas and all that lot, I was like, well, how can all these people do ink tents? And it doesn't bleed through for them, but and yet as soon as I touch the page, it's bleeding through. And I thought, well, I'm putting too much ink tents down. You know, what is it I'm doing? And it was nothing I was doing. It was the fact that, sorry, this is peach again. It was the fact that my water brush was giving out too much water. And it, obviously it's not the pencil that's going to go through your page. It's the amount of water that you put on your page. So... And it's been an absolute game changer. So my recommendation if you're really frustrated with ink tents is get a decent water brush. And I can't recommend these highly enough. They are incredible. Um, like I say, good flow of water. Um, and they don't drown the page, which is really nice. Right, in with... Oops. Oh. Yes, I caught it. <laughs> in with light peach. We'll smush that about. I want to lighten that shoulder up a little bit, I think. Do that with the white. But as you can see, I don't know well, how long have we taken, 10 minutes to put some tone on her skin. I'm like this shoulder. I want some more white there. And 
just want to knock that back a little. So can you see how beautifully the white just works over the top of those ink tents? Just amazing. Right. There we are. And then just blend that white back in with a little touch of light peach. There. And I think... I think, folks... I'm just dark on that. I was going to say, I think I'm finished. But I just want to... And it's just plain, isn't it? Until you're satisfied. Everybody's idea of what is right and what looks good is different. So it's just plain until you, you're you happy with your blends, your mixes. But I certainly couldn't have, um, I don't think, well, I probably could if I was patient enough, but I mean the fiddly bits I can't because my hands, but... I was going to say, I don't think I could have created this without putting pencils on the top, but it's patience and all the rest of the, that jargon. Now I've got a little smudge there. I wonder if I can erase it. Let's see just how good this paper is, hey? Well, that's not too bad. It's come, well, little bits come off. But I don't want to mess with it because I want to put... Um, uh, what am I thinking, people? I want to put water over it, so it might we might end up with a, like a blotchy, oops, blotchy stain. Okay, so here she is, and my messy desk. Welcome to the world of Lucy's colour. <laughs> okay, now you can I'll carry on playing, and I mind, but. I mean, the point is, I wanted minimal pencil work on this image, and I think I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really pleased with how it's all coming out. I love these almost psychedelic pop of colour down here with these little um, guys. Now, what I was going to do before I go off, see, I'm doing it again. I'm getting excited, and I was just going to take the. Look, let's come in. Let's just do it. Okay. Let me get me a piece of paper. You've got a face full of colouring then, folks. Right, I want you to take the amber. Do you remember we used it at the bottom of the tubers? The amber. Let the camera refocus. And from the stems, I'm just going to bring a bit of amber down. Not all the way. The next video, we're going to put the... Um, the rest of the colour in. But that amber is, was, will give us, I've done round his, it looks like a little, it's like a little um, headdress, isn't it? Um, that amber will give us a good transition into um, any green that we want to put in there. Because it's that like sort of, well, amber, <laughs> but it's got a green hint in it. So I'm just going to drag that down till it won't drag anymore. There's my tissue, and we put a little bit down here, didn't we? There. Okay. That's what that's what was bugging me. I wanted just to get that little bit in. <clears throat> okay. I know it seems silly, like just that tiny little bit, but I wanted to show you. Gosh, it's so big. All right. So I'm going to go off for tonight, and um, I will carry on filming and colouring, but I don't want you sitting. Um, for any more, I think it's going to be well over an hour already, but I'm loving it. Ink tents, and I honestly, my hot tip is get yourself decent brushes because it has absolutely revolutionised, that's a good word isn't it, revolutionised um, my ability to use the ink tents. Okay, anyway, hang on a minute, wait before you rush off. We haven't done these. So, I want the amber again. Where did I put that? Where have I just put that? Here it is. Okay, right. You know, we were looking at the tops the other day of these little tubers. And we put that nice pink colour down. I'm going to put the amber in. The bits that haven't got any colour on. So, I'm just scribble that in. 
And then I'm going to get my neat water brush. Yes. No. My nice new one. And we're going to activate that and we can go straight over because the um, pink pinky red colour we put down already is dry. And then that will brighten that up but but um, match the rest of the tube of light that we've done. There we go. Should we just quickly do those? <laughs> Sorry folks, I don't want to go. I'm playing, I'm having lots of fun. But I know I need to let you go. Because already people don't watch the videos all the way through. Um, my analytics tell me that, so I need to learn to shut my mush. <laughs> And um, sort of the length of my videos, I think, maybe. I don't know. I think, actually, I need to stop analysing everything and just do what's what's good. You know, what feels good. And um, certainly spending time with you guys does. So let's activate this. And so what the heck if people don't watch it all the way through? It doesn't matter, does it? I'm just going to keep going, pushing that up through. Can you see that some of that wasn't activated? Some of that pink, but look how beautifully that's blended in. Isn't that cool? And then we're going to do the same here. And once you've started, I'm just going to keep going so I don't get streaks. Now, for an Ink Tense Novice, I am very, very pleased and proud of myself. So if I can do it, folks, with all my anxieties and worries and everything needing to be perfect, I know you can too. Give it a go. All right, let me know what you think about background colour and the colours that are left. These little guys down here, these guys, her bra, her hair. <laughs> let me know. But most importantly, I'm really interested to see to hear what you want, what you think would look great in the background and what we should use to do it. Because I don't know if I'm competent enough to do ink tents. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. It's probably now two hours long because I can't shut up. <laughs> All right, my lovely friends. Um, I'll call it quits for today. I'm going to carry on filming so that I can get the video up to you as quick as possible for the rest of it. I really hope you're colouring along. Kelly's calendar, we pay three up to three pound four pounds sometimes even more for an individual page from etsy kelly's count calendar works out as a pound a page that's that's madness and that's for the actual hard copy of the calendar you can get the digital copy too and of course they'll go down in the link along with this gorgeous paper that i'm loving all right beautiful friends i really am going now i promise <laughs> So until I see you again really, really soon, take really good care of yourselves, guys. Bye-bye.